Welcome to the WECS Daily News. On Monday, people throughout the country will remember the contributions of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., including those here in the Attleboro area. The Greater Attleboro MLK Committee will hold two events. To learn more, we spoke with committee member Ethel Garvin. I'm the chairperson of the MLK Committee of Greater Attleboro, and we are set to have our 33rd annual MLK holiday celebration on Monday, January 20th, 2020. Uh, the day will start off at 1 p.m. at the Attleboro City Hall with our municipal program. Um, that program will feature the Bishop Fien High School Jazz Choir and our local politicians who will kick the day off for us um, with proclamations and remarks on the King holiday. At 2 p.m., the committee will host its interfaith service at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Norton, 1 Power Street, Norton, Massachusetts. Um, our keynote speaker for the event is Joel Christian Gill. Uh, we have a couple of performers for you, soloist Lisa Stevenson and hip-hop violinist Big Lux. Uh, Joel Christian Gill is an author, illustrator. I started doing some research on Mr. Gill and found a YouTube video where he did a TED Talk on the topic that the committee wanted to handle. Our theme for this year is Breaking Through Bias, Accepting Our Differences. And so Mr. Gill, I found, did a TED Talk on racism, so we thought he would be a perfect fit for our program. In conjunction with the keynote event, the committee would also host the Community Circle Project. The project was created and would be led by local artist Sandy Coleman. Uh, she will lead attendees in a collaborative art-making project. Uh, we want to do that in conjunction with the theme uh, because we're coming together to talk about our man-made differences. Uh, what it is is a, a, a painting that the, the attendees will be helping to create. And the painting is comprised of circles. And the local artists chose to do circles because circles are, are universally known to signify unity. Attleboro's annual celebration of the King holiday is important because it's important to remember the man behind the movement. It's important to remember his words. Uh, they still resonate true today, so it's an opportunity to reflect on the powerful message behind his words. Uh, this year's event is supported by Northeastern Savings Bank and the Massachusetts Cultural Council. So I'd like to say thank you for their support for making this event happen. Monday, January 20th, 1 p.m. at Attleboro City Hall for the Municipal Program and 2 p.m. at St. Mary's Catholic Church, 1 Power Street, Norton, for the Interfaith Service. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website, WECS.com, by downloading the WECS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the WECS Roku channel. For WECS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.